All right, here we go, six through 10. Uh, hey, I'm over here, by the way, if you didn't notice. No, 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 look, I'm over here. <laughs> okay, sorry. Um, all right, six through 10. Here, I'll, I'll go over there. There we go. All right, six through 10. Um, so uh, you really got to kind of visualize this stuff. Uh, just um, what that means is uh, like get your imagination going. Um, like pretend that you're in the in the problem. But let's not even call it a problem. I mean, it's a short story, right? So let's just call it that. Uh, okay, so number six. Uh, a bag contains 14 pennies, three nickels, 15 dimes, and two quarters. All right, to help you visualize that, you can draw a bag if you want to. I probably don't know how to do that. Let's do something like that. There's a bag. And it's got <clears throat> 14 pennies, uh, 3 nickels, 15 dimes, and 5 quarters. Okay? So Delaney draws a dime from the bag and puts it in her pocket. If Malik then draws a coin from the bag without looking, what is the likelihood that it will be worth more than Delaney's coin? So there's a couple things that we need to um, recognize here. She's going to put it in her pocket. Okay. Then somebody else is going to come and draw, uh, named Malik. And what's the likelihood that it will be worth more? than Delaney's coin. So Delaney's drawing a dime, right? So Delaney's drawing a dime. Let's look at Delaney first. So Delaney draws a dime from the bag and puts it in her pocket. So let's find out what that probability is first. All right, so uh, let's see here. We have a dime and total, right? All coins. Uh, so how many dimes are there? There are 15 dimes. And let's see here. So now we have to figure out the total amount of um, coins in the bag. So 15 and 5 is 20, uh, 20 and 14 is 34, plus the 3 is 37. So there's a 15 out of 37 chance. 37 is a prime number, but nothing will go into that. <coughs> okay, now we can turn that into a percentage if we want to by doing 15 divided by 37. Don't forget that's what the uh, little fraction line means, right? It just means to divide. All right, so if Malik then draws a coin from the bag without looking, what's the likelihood that it will be worth more than Delaney's coin? So let's look at uh, how many uh, coins are more than a dime. Well, obviously a penny's smaller, a nickel's smaller, a dime is not more than a dime, so we wouldn't include that. We would only include the quarters, okay? And there are five quarters. So there are five quarters, and how many coins are there? Don't forget, it says that Delaney put her coin in her pocket. So there was 37, now there's one less, so there's 36. So it's a five in 36 chance. A five is a prime number, uh, and we know that 36 is not divisible by five. So what is... Um, the probability it's a 5 and 36 chance 5 out of 36 so don't forget you could turn that into a um, percentage if it asks you to you just do 5 divided by 36 which looks impossible right but it's not uh, we just add some zeros and then go from there okay uh, number seven Gary has a deck of cards for our red I'm gonna write it over that I don't like uh, worded numbers, I guess that's right. Four are red, three are blue, six are yellow, and seven are green. If Gary selects one card without looking, what is the probability that he selects a red or yellow? So we're talking about two cards, okay? Um, so four red, <clears throat> three blue, so that's seven. Four red, three blue is seven. Uh, seven green, so that's 14 cards now. Oh, there's 20. Sweet. That's easy. So the total amount of cards is 20. Uh, red and yellow. I'm just going to do red, yellow like that. Okay. 
Uh, how many are red? Four are red and six are yellow. So it's so how many are red and yellow? There's 10 combined. Okay, so that's just a 10 and 20 chance, 10 out of 20 chance, which we already know is a half. Okay, and then in bold right here, it says we have to write it as a percent. Awesome, because we know what half is as a percent. Half, one out of two is 50 percent chance. Okay, easy money. Uh, number eight. So this, um, let me move. Let me move that ugly mug out of the way. There you go. Um, so number eight. This is something that you would have done when I was gone the week before Christmas. So I don't know exactly how much you understand this right here. Uh, but this is just a way to list possibilities. So number eight says a fair coin is tossed three times. <coughs> Excuse me. A fair coin is tossed three times. The possible outcomes are shown below. What is the probability that the outcome will be at least two tails? Just pick my nose, sorry. <laughs> what is the probability that the outcome will be at least two tails? Sorry. All right, so let's let's look at this. We're gonna we're gonna flip it once, and it just wants to know um, um, how many. What's the probability of having at least two tails? Okay, so here's all the possible outcomes right here. Okay, it's really no different than having marbles or something in a bag. Okay, it tells us right here that there are how many possibilities, anyways. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There are eight, uh, eight possibilities. And so if you don't remember this, uh, the very first one, H, 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 that means heads, 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 that all three land on heads. The second one is a heads, heads, tails. The third one is a heads, tails, heads. The fourth one is a heads, tails, tails, and so on, okay? So what is the probability that the outcome will be at least two tails? So I'm gonna use my highlighter here. Uh, obviously, um, we're looking for uh, an outcome that has two T's in it, okay? So we've got heads, tails, tails right there. That's got two tails. Tails, tails, heads, that has two. And the last one, which is tails, tails, tails. Okay, so that's three out of eight, right? Three out of eight. That's it. <laughs> Don't overcomplicate it, okay? It's actually a super simple question. It just looks kind of funky. All right, um, <coughs> number nine. Oh boy. Uh, so it's been a while since we've done this. The two data sets, or the two sets of data represent the points scored uh, by two basketball teams. What is the difference between the interquartile range for the two sets of scores? So we're gonna do team A and team B. So anytime we're talking about range, uh, or it's a, uh, what is it, a box plot, uh, you know what, anytime that we have, uh, anytime that we're talking about data, the best thing to do is put it in least, I think that's on the wrong side, I can't tell, in least to greatest. Uh, so team A, let's put it in least to greatest order, uh, which, just do it, it's not hard, you just don't wanna do it because it's work, okay? Like I said, only thing I ask you to do is try. So you can put it in least to greatest order. So let's do team A. Uh, we got 39, uh, 45, 49, 55. Make sure you're marking them out because then if you don't, you're just going to write it down twice and mess it all up. Uh, 64. And 66. All right, that's team A. I'll do team B in a different color just because I want to. All right, team B, uh, 38. I don't know why that color is not different. It literally looks the exact same. 38. Uh, 49. 53. 58 and 61. I know that was really difficult. Just 
very hard one. All right, so now we have to find medians, right? So um, we've got to find the middle number, <coughs> then we have to find the lower half and the upper half, okay? But this one's actually going to turn out to be fairly simple. All right, so let's look at team A. So we have to find the median. There are one, two, three, four, five, six. There are uh, six values on there. So if we have an even amount of values, there's not going to be a perfect middle. Okay. So six values. The in the perfect middle is in between 49 and 55. Okay. So that's the median. We actually don't even have to find it on this one because we're finding the inner quartile range, which we'll draw here in a second. All right. So now we have a lower set. Right. There's the lower, and we have an upper. So now we have two sets of numbers. So let's find the median of the lower, which is, there's three values in the lower, so the median is 45, okay, that is quartile 1, this is quartile 2, now we have to find the median of the upper, okay, there's three values, so it's the one in the middle, so that is quartile 3, okay, to make a box and whisker plot, you would just connect them, and then put your dots and your whiskers. Okay, but this is asking for inner quartile range. So inner quartile range means inside, inside of that box. Inside of that box, it is from 45 to 64. So how do we find that? We do 64, it's how far apart it is, minus 45. And that is 19. Okay, so the inner quartile range of team A is 19. So now we have to find the uh, interquartile range of team B. I'm going to change colors. Let's go green. Why not? So again, we've got six values. The middle is going to be right there. That is quartile two. Then we have to find the median of the lower half and the median of the upper half. Median of the lower half, because there's three values, is right there, 49. That is quartile one. Median of the upper half is 58, it's quartile 3, and if you had to make a box and whisker plot, you would just connect it like that, and make your dots. Okay, so inner quartile range, let's change colors on that highlighter, it's how far, uh, how far apart the sides of the boxes are, okay, uh, 58 and 49, that is 9, okay. So the question is actually asking, what is the difference between the interquartile range for the two sets of scores? So it's just how far apart they are. We have 19 and 9. Well, how far apart is that? That is 10. Okay. Uh, okay, I have less than two minutes to get this one done. Number 10. Uh, number 10. Uh, we may end up just making up some words here, uh, but if we get the general idea of number 10, we'll be fine. Okay, it doesn't have to be perfect. Just imagine this is going to be um, multiple choice. So number 10, it says Casey is rolling a fair number cube. So that's just a dice. The probability of rolling a 1 is, and it says give a phrase. Well, let's think about it. There's six sides on that cube. How many are 1? So there's only one 1, right? Okay, so is that impossible? No, it's not impossible. Is it? Certain? No. Remember, certain means 100%. Is it as likely or as likely as not? No, that's 50%. Um, I'm trying to think. I honestly can't of the one in between 50% uh, and 0%. I know it's about 25%, but it's got some words. Um, I believe that that would, that would be what? Unlikely. It is unlikely. I spelled that right. Unlikely to roll uh, a one. All right. That's 10 problems so far. Uh, so don't forget, you can go back and pause and write all this stuff down. You can rewind if that's even a thing anymore. I don't even know if you rewind. You can skip back or skip forward. <laughs>